Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, I, uh, I made a little change on the uh, little L Network tuner, and I thought I'd show it to you because it actually worked out pretty well. I kind of missed uh, my Miracle Whip. I had, um, had one of the original Miracle Whips. I, I did a video on it here a little while back, and I had to sell it. Um, still unemployed. And finances are, well, I'm flat broke, so I've been selling things just to pay the bills. Um, but I missed that little Miracle Whip, and uh, the reason I missed it was it was really convenient for certain situations. Sometimes I'd like to sit in my recliner, and I've got a little table next to the recliner, and I'd put the Azu 817 there and put the Miracle Whip on it and just tune around the bands and, and listen for a little while and occasionally work a little CW from, from the uh, recliner, you know, and uh, it was really convenient for that. So I made a change to my little L network tuner here that I uh, built up in a previous video. I added that. Now you can see that I've got a wood block there with a couple of screws sticking up out of it. And what's that for? Well, that is for this telescoping whip. Got a little base for it there that mounts it to the top of the tuner. And I've been anaplugged to plug it into the uh, antenna connection on the back. And that lets me uh, just have a nice little portable antenna on the uh, L Network tuner. So let's, uh, let's set it up over here and I'll show you how it works. All right, so to set this whip up, uh, it's really easy. I take these two nuts here and uh, they're just loose, finger tight, you know. And we just uh, set the whip on here on these two studs. Put the nuts back on and finger tight them down. They don't have to be too tight. They just kind of have to hold it stable there. Now I have a piece of uh, wire that's about as long as the whip. Uh, the whip is about four feet and that's about a four foot piece of wire. And I'll take that and I will put it in the ground connection on the back of the tuner as a counterpoise. And then we'll take the banana, the banana plug from the whip and I can either plug it into the PL259, which they fit in there just fine, uh, but I don't wanna stress out that uh, the pins in the middle of there. So I've got another binding post here that's connected to the antenna jack, so I'll just Plug that in there on the antenna output, coax to the radio, and we're ready to go. All we need to do is just extend the whip. Now, as I said, the whip is about four feet. Can see it extending up there towards the ceiling. And we are ready to tune. I have my uh, Yezu 817 over here. And we've got that hooked up. Front antenna connector is going over to the uh, tuner. And that's on 40 meters presently. Sounds like I'm pretty close already, but I'll show you how we, uh, you can listen to the, uh, the audio from the radio as I fiddle with the tuner. So yeah, we're pretty much there on 40 meters, and I'm up towards the far end of the inductor, so I've got a lot of inductance in there. So 40 meters is pretty much the uh, lower limit with that little four foot whip. But that's fine. I wouldn't want to try to use 80 meters on it. It just would not be efficient at all. Now, right now, I'm hearing... I don't know his call sign. This guy is talking. But... Uh, yeah, we're getting him S8. S6, S7. Peeking up around S8, just on this little whip here in the house. 
I have had a couple of QSOs on 40 meters with it, using 5 watts. Uh, one guy in Ohio, another guy in Tennessee. So it's doing okay. I mean, obviously it's not going to do as well as my external unfed wire. But for a little whip sitting on top of the tuner box, um, that's fine. And uh, that would make it easy to set up in the field. Now let's take a look at a couple of whisper um, broadcast tests I did with it this morning on 40 meters. Now we can see the reception uh, reports um, from Whisper. It's, uh, it's doing pretty well and mostly omnidirectionally. The uh, counterpoise wire I've got hanging off of it was pointing to the uh, south-southwest and as you can see from the transmit example, um, we did pretty well. This was 500 milliwatts uh, Whisper um, from that little whip inside the house here on top of the tuner. And uh, we got all the way down there to KD6RF down there in Texas and uh, down there by Washington as well. Uh, so it, uh, it did pretty well. Uh, it does a little bit better than my one foot mini magnetic loop. It does not do quite as well as my three foot magnetic loop and it certainly does not do as well as my 98 foot external in fed wire. But it is doing about as well as the Miracle Whip did on the back of the 817. So there you go. Uh, that little whip just mounts right on top of my uh, little tiny uh, antenna tuner and makes a nice portable quick setup easy solution. Almost as convenient as the Miracle Whip antenna and performing about as well as the Miracle Whip antenna. So if you built yourself a small L-Network tuner, keep your eye out for a telescoping whip at the uh, ham fests or I'm pretty sure you can pick them up from MFJ and all that and build yourself a little mount or you could uh, build a little desk stand that just has a mount for the magnetic or for the uh, extendable whip and a connection for the uh, um, to the uh, tuner and for a ground plane wire you know and have a nice little portable solution for a quick and dirty easy setup that you could use on a picnic uh, camping or whatever if you don't want to bother with setting up a big wire or like me on a table next to my recliner so I can fiddle around with HF while I'm comfortably in the lazy boy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.